Hello children, it is I, your primary one English teacher, Mrs. Sifoma, standing before you today. It is reading comprehension time. Before introducing my topic to you, you know that there is a comparison which says as cunning as a fox. Which means that a fox is an animal known for its deceit. In today's reading, we shall see how a fox deceived a parrot by using sweet words. A parrot is a bird with beautiful and colorful feathers. The topic of our discussion this morning is the fox and the parrot. As you all know, you ought to listen very attentively to be able to understand the passage and answer the questions that follow. The fox and the parrot, the passage is seen on page 162 of your English textbook. That is your Nigeria Primary English textbook. Here are some spellings that will help you to read the passage fluently. As you listen, may you understand. Number one, parrots. Cheese. Master. Closey. Feather. Better. Number seven, cow. Number eight, exchanging. Exchanging. Number nine, flatter. Number ten, advice. Number eleven, future. Number twelve, picked. Thirteen, voice. Fourteen, settle. Vocabulary. The mean, meaning of some of these words that you may find difficult to understand, flatter. Flatter means to praise someone so as to win favor. The word glossy means smooth and shiny. Smooth and shiny. The word cheese means a solid food prepared from the pressed cord of milk. A solid food prepared from the pressed cord of milk. That is cheese. As you go with me to this passage, the fox and the parrot. Are you there with me? We read. A fox once saw a parrot flying off with a piece of cheese. In his beak and settle on a branch of a tree. That's for me, as I am a fox, said Master Kolo Kolo, and he walked up to the foot of the tree. Good day, Miss Parrot, he cried. How well you are looking today! How glossy your feathers! How bright! your eyes i feel sure your voice must be better than that of other birds just as your body is let me hear but one song from you so that i may greet you as the queen of birds the parrot lifted up her head and began to cow her best. But once she opened her mouth, 
the piece of cheese fell to the ground. Then the parrot, the fox, picked it up. That we do, said he. That was all I wanted. In exchange for your cheese, I will give you a piece of advice for the future. Do not trust those who flatter you. That is the advice of the fox to the bird. If you look here, listen very, listen very attentively, you will understand that a fox is really a very corny animal, using his sweet words to get what the bird was holding in his beak. The bird was really up the tree, but the fox was able to get what the bird was holding by calling, using, telling, telling it that it is, is an animal that is very beautiful, he says, how bright your eyes. I feel sure your voice must be better than that of other birds, just as your body is. Let me hear but one song from you. You can see these are the words that he used to get exactly what is the bird that was up the tree was holding. So for your classwork, as you listened, you can see that we... Your, your classwork is on page 163 of your English textbook. It says the first, the classwork there is taken from your vocabulary. You are to fill in, rearrange these jumbled words and use them to fill in the puzzle box. After that, you will see your homework still on the same page 163 the exercise what did number one what did the fox ask from the pirate the ax the fox asked the parrot to sing a song for him what other name is given to the fox in the passage the other name given to the fox was master kolo kolo what happened when the parrot opened her mouth the cheese on the mouth fell to the ground. Why did the fox fell tell the parrot to sing? It was because it wanted the cheese in the parrot's mouth. What advice did the fox give the parrot at the end? Do not trust those who flatter you. Who would the fox greet as the queen of birds? It was the parrot. What can we learn from this story? I learned that I should not trust those who flatter me. You have already listened to this passage and I know you learned a lot. Always be serious with what you do. Do not allow others to use their sweet words to get what is in your hand thank you for listening bye and see you next other time thank you very much